Let's throw a dart on a map and see where it lands. Anyways, let's get right to the point. Puerto Rico has some of the best air quality in the world. And it's clear why. Puerto Rico's infrastructure was built for renewable energy, and a large percent of the island uses it. As a result, it has less air pollution. However, most countries can't rebuild their own infrastructure to use renewable and self-sustaining energy. Well, because it costs a whole lot of cash. But there is another way to solve this problem. However, we need a more concrete definition of air quality to find it. Air quality is determined mainly by the mass of these five pollutants. Now we have a good basis to determine air quality in different areas. Today, we're going to be focusing on New Jersey. And let's just say it's not the best. Now, that's a lot of Fs. Sadly, New Jerseyans repeatedly breathe air filled with smog each year, and it hasn't gotten much better. So, what needs to change, and what's a good long-term solution? Let's look back at the five main pollutants that determine air quality. Carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide are all mostly caused by the burning of fossil fuels, which is a problem that we can't solve immediately. However, we can do something about ground-level ozone. Most people think that ozone is a great gas for atmosphere, and it is. The ozone layer can stop harmful UV rays from entering the Earth's surface. However, ground level ozone is much different and shows why it should only stay up in the atmosphere. Unlike ozone in the stratosphere, which is created naturally, ground level ozone is created from man-made volatile organic compounds and nitrogen oxide. At ground level, ozone becomes less beneficial and way more harmful. Ozone can cause respiratory problems like asthma and bronchitis to flare up and is very damaging to the lungs. In fact, it can cause permanent lung damage if inhaled for too long. So, ozone isn't great for our lungs. But how do we design a filter out of the air at ground level? Enter carbon air filters. Carbon air filters are designed to remove gases and odors. How does it do this though? Well, activated carbon is the answer to that question, which is carbon that goes through some additional processing to make it extremely effective at catching gases. Carbon being used as a filter isn't exactly a new sign. In fact, it's been used around since the Egyptians, who used charcoal to remove odor from infections. In World War One and Two, gas masks contained charcoal to protect against some of the deadly gases the enemies used. From this, the carbon air filter was invented. We use this basis to create a design that can be easily placed anywhere from the sidewalks of the city and can help filter out bad air. Most air filters have three main components, the turbine, the filter, and the exit area for the cleaned air. The way our filter works is it has a funnel-shaped piece on top of the filter. This piece helps collect lots of smog. The turbine creates a small vacuum inside the air filter to suck the dirty air into the carbon filter. The carbon air filter is in a circular shape able to take care of volatile organic compounds and ground level ozone. As the air cools down, clean air can escape through a chute at the bottom of the filter. Using these methods, the long distance funnel piece, the ground level ozone, can be cleaned over a long distance, allowing it to be used in many public places all over the world. Hope you enjoyed our project and thanks for watching.